Hello everyone. In the third part of uh, the series regarding finalizing or uh, practicing uh, solving final exam uh, sample, in the previous video I made the model and also the make, uh, boolean and the subtraction of the architectural fenestration represented by the doors and windows. And again, back to the question paper, and you note that we finished question one and question two relating to export from CAD to 3D Studio Max, and then we did the, you know, the extrusion required to create the geometry. And in question three, we created the ProBoolean, and that goes for making the architectural windows and doors opening only by using ProBoolean as an example, and also to create the boxes that represent those opening. And of course, if you want a detailed open and window, you go to the create panel and then from there you can find uh, lots of types of tools and windows as a parametric element that you can add uh, with lots of detail by folded and slides that you can learn and add by yourself. Again, this is a very basic uh, level of a course and that targets the uh, basic knowledge in 3D Studio Max. Uh, probably in a different scenarios based on lots of I think um, around eight years of or ten years of teaching 3D Studio Max uh, different types of a question comes usually after question three and question four rarely you jump to the lighting and material by the way usually we're gonna have one question here for more modifiers so we're making lathe fountains uh, skirting uh, I don't know external shading devices uh, whatever type of uh, you know example or question actually regarding the master of using modifiers so always focus my dear students on studying modifiers as part of the uh, final exams also uh, here I will ignore the modifiers already because we study that and we practice that on midterm and for modifiers example go back and revise the, the quizzes that we have and also the midterm uh, samples so I'll jump to the lighting and material and camera probably uh, I'll leave the material to the end or even maybe ignore it because last week I posted a video about how to make architectural material. So I'll just revise mainly lighting and camera and rendering and see if I have the time to create the material video for that example specifically. So let's go ahead and do the uh, camera and light. Maybe I will start up with the lighting and I'll just zoom out and again I'll go lighting and make sure that uh, it's a standard light. And this is a, a basic lighting technique. So I'm going to use the three omnis. And always look where the camera, you know, targeting. Lots of time. And the, actually, the right thing is to start by, you know, by creating the camera itself. So you know what are you, you know, targeting. So if this is the side of the building that I'm targeting, I will put the sun more toward that direction. And so I'm going to create the triangular uh, lighting system or tri -li a tri-star lighting system. So one, two, and three. So you're creating like a, a tri-headed uh, star angle or triangle, actually, whatever you want to call it, you know. And that's in the top of you. On the side view, uh, this guy is the one who's going to face this elevation because this is the main elevation, which is this one. So I'm going to raise that up in the elevation as much as you can and I'm going to call that Sun okay and in the shadow here sorry in the type of make sure that always the light on shadow only on on this one so if you have a clear sky uh, lighting you have to pick ray trace and if the question said a cloudy day or partial cloudy day early morning late afternoon so you have to go for a shadow map sometimes it's just soft shadow so shadow map i'll keep it for sharp crispy uh midday lighting clear sky which is the ray trace okay that is clear sky always come with the ray trace and for the intensity keep the multiplier as one i think that's it for the first light the second light which is this one i raised a raised a little bit and there is no shadow for that and you can just cut that into a half and i think that's it did i forgot something yeah light on no shadows and the uh half of the intensity of it uh i'm gonna pick the third one and i'm, I'm gonna name that one low 
and again it's an omni no shadow and probably half of the previous one so 0 0.2 or 0 0.25 or 0 0.3 uh, i forgot to name that mid probably that's what i forgot okay so that's more than enough so if i jump here and go to rendering and then render this shot or this scene you're going to see that uh you know uh i get you know well lit uh scene and now if you don't like the the light to come straight from the the front elevation you can just you know select all those three things together and design your lighting and that's actually it's a mistake to do that prior to do the camera you have to do the camera first and but anyway i'm just going to undo so just like uh you know in the 90 degree let's go and try shifting q this one uh you see that's better better effect in here and better shadow uh, this way uh, that's a little bit of a, a dark here which is not on not the correct it's not a dark it's pure black you should we shouldn't have anything related to that some cases i add just a, a fourth light in here to prevent because there is only one light come from this side and lots of people add four lighting to guarantee that not only this one lit this uh, you can uh oops you can keep rotating that and actually you know that's two lights on that elevation that's it's getting better result but i don't know how how the shadow will act oops shifting q oh, yeah, that's much better at least there is no pure dark side of the elevation but we lost this bright face as a shade regarding to this one so you keep you know you're not gonna you're not gonna do a good well lighting until you have you know uh, fix the camera first but that's more than uh, more than enough i'll just stop with the thing okay here now let's do camera that's more than enough to solve the lighting question let's go for the camera so create camera make sure it's a standard camera and go to our targets and now you decide where you are looking at the object click and keep pressing and then move toward the object which is the target what you want to shoot in here and just go to the perspective and hit camera and then select your only one camera available notice that the scroll of the mouse if you are in the active view camera will be not working and that means you need to use this command dolly in order to zoom in and zoom out yet the pan is working so much better and lots of people actually just select the the target and just move down you know, or up or whatever and the good way of dealing with the actual height if you want to get a human height is to get that as a 1700 millimeter which is the default height for a human being to get a human eye camera or a human eye shot all right so shift to cue that and you're gonna see that you get an ugly shot <laughs> with ugly lighting so now you go back and do whatever you want with the lighting to get as much out of it you know um trying to rotate exactly all right maybe bring that here okay i have no idea but i think you get the you get the concept behind how we control uh, the lighting and the camera relationship but lots of people prefer the light to be the same angle or like a 10 15 degree from that uh, that can can give us good results uh, yet i don't like it yet okay uh, but that is more than enough for me as to solve the uh, question the final exam questions uh, leave that for fine fine tweaking and fine rotating until you get the appropriate uh, i don't know why i'm getting this axis accidentally all right so that's enough for the camera and also uh you know that you really need to uh, follow the requirement of the camera resolution and aspect so usually getting the number here so that's what the rendering is so 2000 uh, 2500 and multiplied by 1800 and you have to save that as a jpegs or uh, yeah specifically here it's saying as a jpeg so we solve the lighting and now we're doing the camera apart here and the rendering at the same time 
so let's do that so i'm gonna select the camera it would be very wise to click in here and go for sh show safer frame okay that's the safer frame so you know which part will not be shown in your rendering when you do the rendering thing ah okay feeling better now <laughs> better than the human eye uh, go rendering and then go to the rendering setup and just write the numbers that you got in the question paper the resolution setting so 2500 by 1800 make sure you are in custom here okay because that allow you to write the numbers you want uh, freely that's 1800 that's almost that the thing that we have and then you hit render and this is that's it you know that you get a resolution high resolution image uh, and with the shadows there and there is some uh, well uh, lighting I think it's acceptable lighting not that much of a good thing of course there is way much more better lighting systems and more realistic uh, but I think that will cover up uh, that's more than enough what we need for the introduction course and then after you finish again I'm gonna leave the gray the making the material to the last video if we're gonna make it I don't know because a couple of weeks actually a couple of days I posted the material which cover up the same thing Anyway, so let's finish the uh, the last two questions here for the fifth. You just need to save as out of this as a JPEG. So after you add the material, you know what to do. You know, uh, just go save your work after you do, do the material and just write this camera one and choose the format, which is in our example here is JPG and just hit save and hit OK. I don't know what's what is this? I didn't pick HDRI. Or my hand does okay just saved and hit OK and as you can see now if you go to the questions and for video probably see here a JPEG here camera one and that will open it inside a specific viewer whatever type of a window viewer or uh, you know a JPEG viewer or whatever pictures or VMPs uh, viewer you have you're gonna see the end up result and this is allow you to print it you have to provide this uh, as a part of your question are your part of your answers actually with the materials and textures that you added you have to put them all in the same folder like what I've done here and then you submit the entire thing to the uh, Moodle or the examination portal when when you come to submit your work so uh, I think that's it for the lighting and camera that's answer all the possible uh, 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 quest you might need or the question that you have uh, in your final exam. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and have a lovely afternoon.